Well, yeah, we had a question in the group about trigger pull. I ain't sure about the TC, but this is a Lehman Deer Stalker. Uh, single trigger, no set trigger. We'll talk about set triggers later on in a different video. But the guys that are afraid to take the lock off, it's no big deal. It's just one bolt that comes through or two. Um, this is a lock from off of a uh, CVA Jakar. We'll get back to that here in a little bit. All the trigger does is you can see down in that hole, that's where your sear on the lock goes. And as you pull back, it pushes up on the sear. Let me move this out of the way. Work a little easier. This is the lock from the Lehman Deer Stalker. And this here is your sear. And that full cock, I should take that out, by the way. I should take the flint out. Because uh, it could get nasty if I trip that trigger and my hands in the way. It would it would get me. So let me do that. I don't need to get bit. Just unscrew it, pull it, pull it out. Now we're now we're a little safer. But this is your sear. Your sear spring is inside this housing. I don't, uh, this is a new style that they, they, they started making, I guess, to uh, cut costs. A lot of guys bitch about that. You know, I do too. I don't care for this, this new type of lock. Uh, this is your main spring, which other main springs were a hair clip style. Same with your sear spring. Now they did keep your frizzing spring the same, but we'll get to that later. There's no adjustability on this to adjust your, to adjust your trigger pull. It's just whenever it's cocked, it's, it's cocked. But whenever you go to pull, whenever you go to fire, this uh, trigger pushes up on this and fires the gun. There's no adjustability, which I don't care, but you need to get in here. I haven't had this off since last year. I put it away. I cleaned it up. I've shot it three or four times just to make sure it's sighted. And you can see that there's gunk on it. See, It's gunky. You need to get in there and clean your gun, but you don't need to do it every time. Just whenever you're ready to put the gun away for the season. If it's going to sit in your gun cabinet for months, pull this off, give it a cleaning with some soap and water, dry it off. If you got an air compressor, blow dry it off. It don't matter. Take some lube and lube up all the moving parts. But we'll get to this one now. This one has an adjust, uh, adjustable trigger. That's what that screw is for. So whenever you cock the gun, this is a different than what's in my Tennessee mountain rifle. Every cock would be a little bit different. Just don't have a bridle. Because they're cheap. CVA, you know, CVAs are cheap. But that's that high half cock. And that full cock, I made it to where it is a um, hair trigger by adjusting this screw. And you bring it up to full cock. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But this tooth on the tumbler is just barely grabbing the sear. 
So all it would need is just a slight touch and it goes off. So if you have one that, that has an adjustable screw, you can play with that. If you've got double set triggers, which is going to be a different video, we'll talk about that later. But the mainsprings are what guys were talking about breaking it is uh, manufacturers are cutting costs. The new guns, like this one here, the mainspring, they're just, they're, the coils. If you leave your gun half cocked in storage, that spring is under 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 tension. You're wearing it out. So never leave your gun stored half cocked or full cocked. Always decock it and leave it, leave it down so your, t your the spring tension is off. But this is what some of the main springs are that guys were saying they were breaking or the old hair clip style. You can buy these anywhere. Just look around. Put them in down in the comments where you would buy your parts. But we'll talk later about how to speed up the action of your locks.